You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Evening Primrose, Enothera biennis. Growing through nearly all of North America as a native plant, and although usually referred to as a biennial, as indicated by its species name of biennis, Evening Primrose can just as easily grow as an annual plant. We'll follow it through both growth patterns. In late winter and early spring, you can find the basal rosette from last year's evening primrose, hunkered down close to the ground, and usually with leaves that are both red and green. As the season moves into late spring and early summer, the basal rosette grows new leaves. It then develops an upward-growing stalk from its center. Sometimes that stalk will separate into six to eight stalks or branches. Let's look more carefully at evening primrose leaves. The very youngest leaves in early spring may be a lime green color, or they may be a darker green. Leaf margins are toothed. The teeth are spread apart and usually small. Sometimes it looks like the leaf margin might even be entire. The four to eight inch long leaf is lanceolate in shape. Venation is pinnate with a single strong central vein. From below, the leaf is a somewhat lighter shade of green and that central vein is quite obvious. The primary vein may be white, although it is frequently tinged with pink when the leaf is young. Mature leaves frequently develop holes. They may also have red spots or turn red. Tiny leaves grow at the leaf nodes. Notice the sparse hairs on the stalk. Leaves grow alternately up the stalk. Although the stalk may be green initially, it is likely to have red overtones. It may even turn a dark shade of burgundy, as this plant's stalks have. This section of stalk is nearer the top of the plant. Further down the stalk, the surface looks scabby. The base of the stalk looks gnarly and fissured, where it splits into more than one branch in preparation for the summer blooming season. When summer arrives, the evening primrose stalk is anywhere from four to five feet tall. It begins to grow flower buds in groups from the topmost leaf axils. As the stalk stretches even taller, each flower bud is distinguishable, growing from a leaf axil, which has a small leaf at the node. When ready, the four sepals split apart and the bright yellow petals unfurl. The anthers at the tip of the stamens peek out above the petals. Flowers, which are up to two inches wide, bloom from the bottom of the plant toward the top. The plant's common name of evening primrose indicates that it blooms in the evening. Some plants do. Many field guides state the flowers then die the next morning. My experience has been that the flowers open at times earlier than the evening hours. And yes, the blooms stay open overnight to be visited by such beautiful creatures as the primrose moth. How many petals do you see? It looks like quite a few until you carefully examine the corolla. There are four petals lobed along the outside edge which overlap each other. When the sepals pull back from the petals, they reflex downwards below the corolla. The reflexed sepals surround a very long tube which extends down to the ovary. When the flower first opens, the pistil is topped by a fuzzy closed stigma. Gradually, it expands to become a four-part stigma, what field guides refer to as an X-shaped stigma. 
In this very close view of the four-part stigma, we can see it is surrounded by its stamens. Now the petals begin to die, along with the stamens. Petals fold inwards and droop. Once again, here is the dying flower with its long tube extending to the green ovary arising from the leaf axle. The corolla, sepals, and floral tube disconnect from the ovary and drop to the ground. Flowers continue to bloom, die, and leave their green ovaries throughout the autumn months. The oblong ovaries begin to mature. These ovaries are now the developing seed capsules, alternating at the top of the evening primrose stalk. In late autumn, the seed capsules mature and dry out. They break open to release their seeds for next spring. The dried seed capsules remain during the winter. Also during the fall season, new evening primrose plants grow a basal rosette, which will overwinter and bloom next year as a biannual version of the plant. Next spring, the previous year's seeds sprout into plants which will grow and flower in a single year, the annual version of Evening Primrose. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Enothera biennis, also known as Evening Primrose. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of Evening Primrose, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.